Hello and welcome everyone to the show. My name is Timothy Hirsch, Small Business Benefit Consultant with Planston Benefit Solutions and host of the Small Business World. Each episode on our show, we will bring some of the best local minds and small business experts from around. Together we will gather their insight and seek their advice into the many aspects that come with running a small business in today's world. We all know it's not easy running a small business, but thankfully there are people like our guests today that can help. Today on the show, we have Karen Fornia. She is going to help answer some important questions small business owners face in the world of banking. Hopefully, this can help us avoid some of the problematic areas of banking that can be avoided with the proper guidance of someone like Karen. Some locals may recognize Karen cruising around town in her convertible on a hot day just like this. When she isn't enjoying the top down in her car, Karen is busy at work at Enterprise Bank right in Pelham. Karen has been working with Enterprise Bank since it opened in Pelham in 2012. I have a personal relationship with Karen and we both serve as members on the Pelham Economic Development Committee in town. Karen is a wonderful asset to the town of Pelham and we are lucky to have her. Thank you for being on the show today, Karen. Thanks, Tim. Thanks. Definitely. Pleasure. Like myself, many of our viewers probably think banking for a small business is just the same type of banking they've done since they first opened a bank account. We go in, we open a checking or savings account, we put money in, and we hope to put in more than we take out. Then if we need money, we go and talk with someone nice like you, we dress up nice, we hope you say yes, <laughs> and then we hope we get a low interest rate. <laughs> now I'm thinking there might be a little more that goes into that, Karen, for a small business owner. So maybe you could help us out. Um, I think old school, you probably would, you know, everybody does agree that it's just so simple. You just walk in, you open an account, and it's no big deal. But in today's world, unfortunately, it's not quite so easy. There are so many different facets to a business relationship with a bank. Um, it does start, obviously, with a checking account or um, a money market, but we do offer so many different kinds of accounts. Mm -hmm. The start off with a new customer is to sit down, understand what the business is like, what they're looking for, and being able to customize what services we have to what their needs are. Mm -hmm. And as they evolve, because obviously they are, sometimes they're new businesses that come in, so they don't know what they're going to need or how successful or not successful they're going to end up in their business. So we start off slow mm -hmm. and we'll then add services that we believe that would be beneficial for them. Cash management, that includes credit card processing, um, ACH, um, express deposit, which means they don't even have to come into the bank to make a deposit. We give them a machine and it just gets swiped through. Convenient. It's very convenient. Um, we do customize pretty much everything to the customer and what their needs are. Um, when I started with Enterprise Bank, I came from a big bank. So coming to something smaller, was very eye-opening. Um, we are very hands-on. Customers actually have my cell phone number. Mm -hmm. um, it's always, they're always gonna get a phone call back. We have two rules. We have what's called the sundown rule. If a customer calls before three o'clock one day, it is our responsibility to get back to them before we leave that end of the day. If they get in touch with us after three, we have to get in touch with them by the next morning. I'm sure a small business owner appreciates it that. It is, I mean. and they, it's always somebody to talk to. Mm -hmm. You can call the branch, you call directly to my office. If I'm not there, I have staff that will answer the phone. I have a cell phone that actually is attached to my email, so if anybody needs to get in touch with me, they can just email me customer information and I can get back to them no matter where I am. Very hands-on. We are also very involved in the community, which is so important to getting to know your business, getting to know the people that in the neighborhood. The small business owners are, are our friends, and we actually are able to get to know our customers and be part of the community that everybody lives in and works in, so it's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. So yes, there are so many facets mm -hmm. to the banking industry. Um, now with, we're basically going towards um, electronic everything is going to be electronic so the banks are moving more towards I should say enterprise bank is going to be moving more towards um, being able to take care of the customer when they walk in the door 
and have one person just take care of them instead of just a teller where the tellers right now kind of just do the transactions. However, with everybody being able to do so many things electronically, there's going to be less foot traffic. At least this is what we believe is going to happen. In Pelham, it's not really like that. People like hands-on. They like to come into the bank. They see their friends at the bank. Um, so that is what we're evolving to. And it's enterprise's goal to make sure that when a customer does walk in the door, that they have all of their questions answered by the same person and have a contact person. And it, things are changing. And it will change mm -hmm. for businesses, too. And I can see, I mean, one part I'd like to dig into, because I think it would be very helpful, because I think many small business owners it start off at square one. So they, they walk in. I like that you have a plan for them as they're going to grow. But when that small business owner w walks in day one, what are the, some of the first things that they usually don't have that you're going to start helping them with? I will tell you, a lot of people come in and um, don't have anything ready. Okay. And there are a lot of regulations with banking, of mm -hmm. course. Um, starting with just being registered with the state of New Hampshire or registered with whatever town they are located in in Massachusetts, where we're a border town. We do have a lot of Massachusetts businesses that will come into the bank to open up their accounts. Mm -hmm. They have to be registered. Um, and then all of, they either are using their social security number, depending upon whether they're a DBA sole proprietor or if they're an LLC or a partnership or whatever. They have to have an IRS letter with the name of the business and a tax ID number. Because this is all just to open an account? Just to open an okay. account because there are very strict guidelines. And mm -hmm. then there's now something new that just came out about a couple months ago. It's called beneficial ownership, and it's new paperwork that has to be filled out. Um, it is required by every financial institution to report it to the federal government who the beneficial owner is of every company that you open an account for. Um, and you also have to have the name and information of the controller. So it may not always be the same person. Mm -hmm. So you could have a larger business may have um, the beneficial owner is a silent partner and doesn't want to be a signer on an account and doesn't want to be the one that makes the decisions, the financial decisions. So it's all different facets that have to be put together. And that is before you can even open the account, all this has to be taken care of. Now I'm thinking uh, for our viewers here, they're probably thinking, wow, this and is... And it's not that difficult. They're, but see, it's they're thinking this is going to be a lot. You at Enterprise, you guys help them through yep, this we process? Have, we have the, um, the website where you can actually register for mm -hmm. an EIN number, IRS letter, TIN number, whatever you want to call mm -hmm. it. Um, and we can actually print it right off. Mm -hmm. When you register, it's online. And you get the certificate right there. Um, and with the state of New Hampshire, they have streamlined it. It's a lot easier to register your business. You can go online, register it, and you get the certificate within a couple days. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's much easier. Um, and then, of course, you need identification from every signer. Mm -hmm. Privacy Act, Patriot, Patriot Act has to be privacy. You've got to make sure you have everything of course, in order. Of course. And then, of course, the conversation would go to um, if they have borrowing needs. With a new business that's less than two years, um, what I will say is that most new businesses, if they are going to fail, usually fail within the first two to three years. Mm -hmm. So we don't generally lend to a business unless we have what's called small business association backup. So it's the SBA lending. We are a lender for the SBA. Um, and what it is is that's a federal, um, a federal government company that actually helps small businesses start off and what they do is they actually guarantee half of the loan so they take responsibility so if something does happen um, the bank doesn't take the full loss so they'll take mm -hmm. a little bit of the loss and how does a business owner go about we registering have for that or we actually out? there's a website mm -hmm. um, and there actually is a, a location in Derry New Hampshire mm -hmm. um, and there's one in Raymond New Hampshire they are so knowledgeable about startup businesses. They will take you from begin the business plan right up to getting an account open, to lending needs, to how to structure your business to make it work for you. And very knowledgeable people. It's a great place to go if you're starting out mm -hmm. to start there, even if you just want to play on their website and 
you know, get some information, it's very informative. So you point a lot of small businesses in that direction. Absolutely. Eh? Nice. Especially if they need lending. I mm -hmm. mean, an account is one thing. Um, we're not at a loss, really, with an account. We're there to help them with their basic financial needs when it comes to an account and the things that the bank itself can offer. But lending, yeah, they, if they don't have the collateral to back it up to start a business, you really need help and you need to go to the right place and that's what they do. Okay. So. so definitely talking to one audience that we have here and that's that starting out new business, you know, that maybe has been in business less than two years. But I'm sure you see a lot of, I mean, especially in Pelham, there's a, just a lot of small businesses, one-man shops. Tons of them. What are some of like the biggest, I want to say mistakes, but kind of errors you've seen in someone who's maybe had their banking done for two or three years at possibly a different bank and never really put the time and effort into it, but now they come to see you? What do they, well, where have they come short? I will tell you a lot of smaller businesses don't like to show a profit mm -hmm. um, on their tax returns because then you have to pay taxes on it. I, I completely get it and I, I can say that I understand. However, if you want to borrow money from a bank, you have to show that you're making money. Makes sense. Because you have to pay us back and it has to be in black and white that the, the business is making money or you, you can't come in and say, I made $10 last year on paper and think that we're going to be able to lend to you. It doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. So I will say that some of the biggest mistakes that I have seen is that they don't show the income and are looking for a loan. And then people get upset. Mm -hmm. And I, I get it, but that's what I have to tell them. Well, you know, you got to show some income. Come back next year. We'll try to take a look at it again. Um, that's one of the biggest things. Another thing is that a lot of small businesses don't there's a million things that can go wrong. There really is. It, it can be anything from finances, not having the right person in the right place, run, helping you run your finances on your business. Um, it can be your accounts receivable can set you back. Um, it can be marketing. You haven't marketed the, marketing your company to sell yourself. There's, it can be just about anything that can go wrong. But is if it's financial, it's definitely the fact that people don't want to show income. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you've seen that quite a few times yeah, around Especially town. with small businesses. But it also sounds like you point them in the right direction. Hey, this is what mm -hmm. we need to do. Here's the action steps to get where you want to go. I try to have that conversation if it's a new business walking in the door. If they don't have borrowing needs immediately, I try to have that conversation that future. Mm -hmm. If you think that you're going to expand or that's your goal, don't ever show a bad tax return. You have to have a good year behind you in order t to be able to borrow. Mm -hmm. I mean, even with the SBA, mm -hmm. they're going to they're gonna require some type of a business plan or some kind of a profit. You can't borrow money on negative. That's and very, that's very everywhere. Sensitive. And it yeah. doesn't, it, anything, anything mm -hmm. in your life. Now, when we look at, some of the things that these businesses are not doing correctly. I mean, obviously walking in your door is a good step, but I'm thinking there, there's probably more to Enterprise Bank than just loaning and savings and checking accounts that they can also utilize a bank for. We have a lot of different services that we can offer to not only businesses but consumers, mm -hmm. right? We can start with, um, like I said, the cash management piece. That is huge when it comes to um, businesses that are growing. Mm -hmm. ACH is an automatic clearinghouse, so a lot of transactions if are through. You don't mind, what exactly is cash management? Okay, so well, that's what that? it is. It helps. This is a, a separate department, I should say, um, in the bank that specifically helps businesses with their cash flow, mm -hmm. how they can receive, send, um, process payroll. Um, express deposits, um, what else do we do? They, they can do international wires, you can have, this is all online access things, mm -hmm. so you don't necessarily have to walk into the branch to do some of these things. It's all set up so that you just sign in and you can do everything from your computer. Wow, that's enlightening. I would never thought bank, ca you know, accounts Amazing. receivable type, type business there. That's definitely useful. Then we Probably also offer, um, we have obviously investment, which we can actually help 
small businesses with their 401k programs, whether they want it just for themselves or if they want to offer it to employees. Mm -hmm. um, we have someone specifically that does that with businesses. We also offer insurance. So, I mean, and it can be anything from a health program to for a small business to, I mean, we're competitive, but you know, we will even take a look at what someone has and make sure that they're utilizing everything they can. And if, if they're in a good place, we don't try to compete. We just want to make sure our customers are happy and are protected and that they offer to their, their employees and themselves everything that they can get. I think, they, I think a lot of people who are small business owners appreciate being able to go to one place one and place. You know, use that face. And I mean, that's, I think, beyond what the scope of most people think of banking. I mean, that's very, very helpful to there's know. A lot that of facets, there's a, yes. yeah, a lot of stuff that you can do there. Yep. That's yep. very helpful. And I mean, I've been in, I have been in the banking industry a very long time. Mm -hmm. And things change all the time. We are constantly doing education pieces so that we all understand the changes that come up with rules, regulations, um, and we're very, very active in that kind of thing. So we can't, we can't n direct a customer in the wrong way. We don't want to do that because that, first of all, would be a terrible thing and then we're liable. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that all of us are, in, are educated in order to be able to help our customers. We also, um, not only if, are we available as a person to the customers themselves, every department in the bank, mm -hmm. if you call, someone will pick up the phone. So if I don't have an answer for you, I can get an answer for you. It's kind of amazing, I'm telling you, coming from a big bank, this just does not happen anywhere else. So you find a different, completely different experience in the big bank versus the yes. community bank, as yep. I like to call you guys. If we are a commercial bank. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, we have the lending capability up over 50 million mm -hmm. for one individual company per se. Um, but it's personalized service is what it is. And like I said, we can customize things to make their banking experience the best it can be and to help their business grow. And on top of that, I always find it helpful when you walk in, you get a hello, a smile. Cup of it's coffee. welcoming, cup of coffee. <laughs> that stuff, that little And dunking munchkins on Saturdays, so bring the kids yes, in. <laughs> that, go, that goes a long way, it really does. Yep. But we really appreciate you coming on the show and sure. sharing all this with us, Karen. I mean, very enlightening, very enlightening for us. And Great, thanks you know, for having this is, me. This is something that small business owners really need to know more about. And you know, Obviously stop by, see Karen. Obviously, they can stop by, and we'd be more than happy to help. If you have questions, pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. We're always available. It's only going to help your small business run a little better. So yep. Thank you very Absolutely. much for being You're here today, welcome. Karen. Thanks. Karen, your perspective and advice today has been very enlightening for myself, and I'm sure for our viewers here today. There is certainly a lot of advice that we'll be able to take away from having you on the show today that's going to make our banking lives a little bit easier. Now, to our audience. Tune in next time and we will bring on another local expert to provide the views and expertise in the small business world. My name is Timothy Hirsch. This is the Small Business World and we appreciate you watching today.